Well, lots of storms with isolated severe weather are ringing the entire area. I mean, they're north, they're west, they're south, southeast, and east, and even northeast, and a big ring all around us right now. Even you can see that warning down there just south of Interstate 70. We've had wind damage near Champaign as well. And some of these storms that were trying to work northeastward, and that was kind of the thinking towards the forecast today, was some of these storms would gradually work northeastward into the area by afternoon and into the evening. And you can see a few getting close to Fountain County right now. Now, there are three boundaries where some storms may focus this evening. One is the cool air rushing out from these storms. That outflow boundary is surging northeast or towards the area. So that one may pop a few storms. We've also got kind of another one right in the heart of the area. If you look outside, especially if you're looking south from like Jasper County or north from, say, Fountain or Tippecanoe County, you'll see these puffy clouds over towards Benton and parts of Tippecanoe County. That's another little line here where cool air surged up from these storms and they've surged up from these storms. So we may see a couple storms form right here, too. And then you get the lake breeze front surging southward. So three ways we may pop a few storms here and there this evening. 87, though, at 7 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 83, and 77 by 11, with a couple storms here and there. And then overnight, it's just partly cloudy, hazy, light fog, low temperature down to 73 degrees. But at least here at the TV station, we've had five consecutive days in the 90s. It doesn't count today. It counts yesterday. I believe today so far here, we've hit 88, 89 We've had seven of the past eight days in the 90s, and rainfall over the past nine days, just a trace. It's really drying out, upper for most of the area anyway. Some areas have had more rain than that, though. Upper 60s to low 70s will do it for lows tonight. We're talking a high tomorrow of 91, heat index near 100 for the 4th of July, with some scattered storms developing. There are the highs, upper 80s to low 90s area-wide, with the heat index 90s to right, one, uh, right around 100 degrees. So if you're headed out for fireworks tomorrow evening, still a few scattered storms around and it's still going to be warm. 80s to right around 80 by 10 o'clock. And then uh, looking ahead towards the very end of the week, a high of 91 degrees for Friday with a few scattered storms around upper 80s to low 90s area wide once again. And there are your heat indices running in the 90s to right around 100 degrees. 18 precision cast. Again, a couple storms around this evening. We dry out overnight, but we start to flare them up tomorrow. This is 2 p.m. tomorrow. There's 3. There's 4.30. There's 7. Still a few scattered storms around, even through 8, and hopefully this works out for 9 and 10 o'clock, but there still may be a few left over before things fizzle out tomorrow night, and then more storms for the upcoming weekend kind of off and on and even into next week with increasing risk of some severe weather coming in next week as well. 74 cast normal high, 85, 88 Saturday, 86 Sunday, and then we'll be in the upper 80s to around 90 next week as storms return. All right, good luck for tomorrow evening yeah, to get yeah. those fireworks in. Very good. Sure. Thank you very much, Dad. With the 50